When it comes to watching any action anime featuring magic and other supernatural powers, an overpowered main character is definitely a necessity. Most commonly, these overpowered main characters are featured as transfer students. They start out as an underdog, but gradually undergo character development and turn out to be a total badass. Moments like the transition of the main characters into a badass, overpowered killing machines are just incredible. So today we are going to talk about the top 10 anime where the main character is a transfer overpowered student. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and pressing that bell icon and set us all to be notified of all our latest videos. Coming in at number 10 is Quality of Code. This one is an action supernatural anime. The story of the anime is set in a post-apocalyptic world where most of humanity has been wiped out by outwardly beings called unknowns. Children with gifted abilities are left to protect the world from complete demise. Yeah, pretty generic, right? But anyways, our main character is a stoic young man who transfers to the Tokyo branch of defense. He quickly climbed up the ranks and becomes the head of the Tokyo branch. His daily life involves fighting with the unknown by using his powers. On the other hand, various gifted children maintain their own districts as they continue to struggle against these monsters. A sinister truth about their very existence and the world may come to light. This is definitely an anime that will require you to go all the way to the end, and that way you will actually enjoy it. I like to watch anime more casually, but simply, I liked it. I think it was an average, okay, good sort of thing. Definitely not amazing, but better than people thought. I gotta say, it was better than what people originally thought it would be. So, if you're going to watch it, watch it all. Coming in at number 9 is Wise Man's Grandchild. So, is <laughs> After being killed for no reason whatsoever, an average salary man is reincarnated into a fantasy world. Upon his reincarnation, he meets one of the most powerful beings in the universe. Entering a familial relationship with this being, the protagonist becomes extremely overpowered. Following this, every character who knows about the main character's awesomeness jerks off to his amazing powers. All the while, we have an insanely bland cast of side characters and really generic art with barely any overarching plot. Yeah. And then some dude from an insanely influential family enrolls in a magic high school. Turns out this dude is the most overpowered creature in the universe. Surprise! Not only is he so overpowered that he can create a whole new type of magic and magic gear, oh yeah, he's also literally invincible. But he is also absurdly good at hand-to-hand -hand combat. Every side character, unable to even hope of competing with the main character's awesomeness, just kind of sits there in awe of his overpoweredness. The whole show is pretty much just about how cool and overpowered the main character is. Coming in at number 8 is Infinite Stratos. To put Infinite Stratos in simpler terms, cliché. It's a cliché, lazy harem. Long story short, in a universe that has mechs piloted by only females, somehow has one guy who is able to pilot it without any reason at all. The government, not given one flying fuck, sends him to school full of smoking hot chicks so that he can better pilot and learn. Oh. And did I mention, he's dense, beyond Naruto dense. And because of this setup, the show faithfully follows the route to Harem, where 90% of the girls want the main character's D, otherwise is interested, since it sets itself up as a Harem series with overpowered main characters. For Mecha Harem romance fans, this will be a show they probably will like. But for people who expect to see Mecha action, you will be extremely annoyed. So to sum it all up, cliche, lazy, harem, but hot smoking hot chicks. Who could ask for anything more, I suppose? Coming in at number 7 is Asterisk War. In a magical world where people born with powers, known as Genestea, are gathered from all over the world in elite schools and are trained to participate in battles known as Festa. Our protagonist is a boy named Ayato Amagiri who is a transfer student at the famous Saitoken Academy. He runs into the top student, Julius Alexia von Riesfeld, and due to some rather inappropriate circumstances, he is challenged by Julius for a duel. One of my personal favorite scenes from the show is the one where Ayato teams up with Julius and wields his ultimate sword known as Demon Blade of the Black Furnace. Loki kind of badass. In the Academy Battle Tournament, this anime has a lot going on. It is kind of crazy, but the right amount of crazy. It has bits of sci-fi, supernatural, harem, and action genres with some touch of romance. So it has the potential to appeal to a larger audience. Coming in at number six is Noblesse. Living in an isolation from humanity exists a group of powerful beings known as nobles who exist 
to act as guardians for humanity. However, there is one particular noble who acts as the protector of said nobles. The title for this task is called Noblesse. This noble is named Ryzel, who has awakened from his 820 year slumber. With the help of his servant Frankenstein, he enrolls at a high school to keep himself hidden and learn more about the human world. However, when a secret organization housing modified humans called Union and the nobles start learning about his awakening, Ryzel must use his immense powers to protect himself and those around him. We all know this isn't the most faithful adaptation to the source material, however, the anime is decent in its own sense. Vampire nobles, mysticism, and human genetic engineering are all fascinating concepts, and all these concepts are blended together perfectly, which makes this anime worth watch. Coming in at number 5 is Armed Girls Machiavellism. This anime takes place in Aichi Symbiosis Academy, which was a girls only high school, but got converted into a co-ed school. The whole academy was controlled by this group of girls called Supreme Five Swords. All the women in this group were skilled and powerful swordswomen bent on correcting problematic male students using their humiliating methods. Our story begins with Nomura Fudo, a delinquent who is transferred to this school after being engaged in a brawl. Nomura is confronted by Rin, who attacks him in the name of correcting him. After a few clashes, he reveals his secret technique called Spirit Bullet and defeats Rin, and goes for the, uh, other four girls too. So this show basically needs to be watched with an open mind. This anime is pretty silly and never takes itself too seriously. By the way, more info as he also creates a harem. Coming in at number 4 is Tokyo Magic. The main plot of this anime revolves around several high school students gifted with superpowers and their fate of protecting the world from a great demise. Our main character is a carefree student who transfers to Magami Academy for certain reasons. He quickly becomes famous in the school because of his profound material arts skills and a badass persona. The ordinary life of our main character changes when he acquires supernatural powers because of distortion in Dragon Vein. And now, he must use these newly awakened powers for good. Overall, I found the series to be entertaining in the backstory of certain characters mysterious enough to keep myself going until the end. The fight scenes were gruesome and actually felt satisfying in a twisted way. Coming in at number 3 is Star Driver. The main plot of this anime revolves around a group of students tasked with protecting the fragile peace of the world from an evil organization. Our main character is a kind-hearted guy who ended up on a remote island called Southern Cross on his journey of finding a perfect life. He joined the high school of the island as a transfer student. Although he might not have the persona of a hero, he has a secret power that might drag him to a mess far from what he ever imagined. Star Driver caches mainly on nostalgia of people who grew up watching 70s or 80s mecha anime shows. It combines all those elements perfectly and also introduces some new mechanisms. Overall, it's a great anime with a decent storytelling and animation. Coming in at number 2 is Chivalry of a Failed Knight. This anime features a world where people born with supernatural abilities were called Blazers. They study in different academies and the best ones are selected for the 7 Star Sword Art Festival. Whew, seven star sword, say that five times fast. Iki, a low rank blazer, calling him the worst would not be an understatement, that transferred to Hagen Academy and ended up meeting Stella, an A tier blazer. However, their first meeting goes rather bare, literally, as he sees her naked and she challenges him for a duel. And to her surprise, Iki defeats her. And it's kind of embarrassing. Iki and Stella form a team and the journey of Iki trying to become a top swordsman begins there on. He eventually develops his powerful technique called Perfect Vision, which grants him phenomenal power. Chivalry of a Failed Knight does a great job of differentiating itself from other anime of this genre. It has some intense fight sequences, and the romantic subplot is very, very interesting. Overall, it's a unique and worthwhile anime to watch. <laughs> And before we get to the final spot, be sure to consider becoming a member of my channel. It really helps me out and also gives you exclusive access to premium videos. And if you can't join due to country restrictions but still want to help me, you can join through Patreon down in the description as well. And on to number one, Skate the Infinity. The main part of this anime revolves around two youngsters and changes in their life brought by skateboarding, a rather cool vibe sport played mostly by wild teenagers. It might feel similar to BL anime, but it is bearable. Manga is a transfer student in a high school located in Okinawa. He was going through a hard time because of his father's death. Then he met Reki, an energetic fellow with a passion for skateboarding. 
short series of events, Lange ended up joining Recky for a skateboard race competition in an underground race arena called S. This fateful competition may bring a change in their lives for better or worse. Even though the show takes a rather violent approach to skateboarding, it nails the relationship between skateboarding and the characters. Speaking of characters, this show's characters have a very natural and infectious chemistry. This chemistry definitely makes the show worth watching. And with that, we conclude our list and end with today's video. Hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you like this video, remember to subscribe and smash that thumbs up button to keep yourself notified of all our latest new videos, as well as upcoming content. Also, write down in the comments below what anime you thought was most interesting on this list. And as for now, I'll catch you later. See you in the next one.